the immortal John Hancock and boy this has been a crazy week um, I haven't done a Nintendo video in a while and I was uh, talking to a co-worker uh, Mr. Leggett and uh, pretty much he said hey you ought to do a, a, a video on some Nintendo uh, games and so I thought you know with the NES Mini coming out uh, there NES Mini for people that haven't heard uh, is a classic Nintendo flashback console that means all the games are built in to uh, a, a miniature Nintendo looking system that you plug into a modern TV and it plays 30 classics. Uh, you won't be able to add any games to it which uh, brings up the question uh, what games didn't make the cut or for me uh, if they were to do a sequel what games should they consider adding that would be Nintendo classics and so um, I looked at my collection I have uh, a complete North American license set. That means I have every license cart released in North America uh, for the for the Nintendo. Um, I'm missing some boxes, but um, I, I took five games out of my collection, and here they are. And I was I also am going to show some gameplay footage and talk about kind of my connections to the games and why they matter to me. Uh, the games in without any particular order. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, uh, Rad Racer, ah! oh yeah, Rygar, Popeye, and Ice Hockey. So we're gonna let's check these out together, and I'm gonna talk about uh, why they matter to me, and uh, let's let's do it. So here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh, which was just an amazing arcade port. It was so much better than the first Turtles game that came out. This one really, um, really just brought me in. I, I, I played the arcade game a lot back in the day. I was a Turtles fan. I didn't collect the figures, but I loved the cartoon. Um, you know, it was just a, a great series. Um, I absolutely love this game. This is definitely uh, one of the Nintendo games I still play. Excellent graphics. I love brawler, side scrollers, you know, whatever, you know, type games. This one makes a cut. Fantastic. Um, I thought, uh, you know, when I first played this back in the day, I was so impressed with the graphics. When I first heard that uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, was going to be on Nintendo, my first response was. How is that going to work? You know, how can they how can they get this very very graphic arcade game and make it work on Nintendo? Well, they did. They did. They scaled everything back. Um, they focused on excellent music and gameplay, and it totally works. I'm a huge fan, and um, just love it. I mean, I just I just love this game, and it's fun. It's still fun to play today. Um, I just love everything about it. Kind of cool. They had a like a, a tie-in with Pizza Hut Pizza back in the day too. I thought that was kind of neat, <laughs> which is smart. And uh, and uh, gosh, this is just uh, just takes me back to the day. I, I you know I rented this before I bought it um, back in the day, and uh, it was challenging, but definitely um, loved playing this game. Uh, so much fun. Man, I, even the graphics. Uh, Still impress me. Excellent animation too. So there we go. This is why it makes a cut. Nintendo, please, if you make an S Mini 2, include this game. This is a must own. Up next is Rad Racer. And to me, my connection with Rad Racer goes as follows. Back in the day, um, I had limited selection of NES games to choose from uh, when I first played my uh, the Nintendo that I rented from a video store and so there was probably I don't know 20 or less games and Rad Racer was one of them and Rad Racer was always the game that was in which when I first thought I was like ah, this game must not be that good but you know to me Rad Racer is great 8-bit racing game it's simplistic um, a lot of fun uh, to me it's like the next evolution of like pole position I really loved it. I love playing this game. I still love playing this game. Um, I I enjoy it. It's simple, uh, simple premise. You know, accelerate, turbo, brake. Um, 
I, I, I have to admit, though, I'm not that good at this game. But, you know, uh, I really appreciate the simplicity of this game. I think it's a NES classic. I'm surprised they haven't done more with, with, with this as well. Um, they, they haven't done much with, with Rad Racer. And, and it'd be interesting to, to uh, you know, to see, you know, gosh, I wish they would do more with it. You know, they, there needs to be a Rad Racer 3. Come on, Nintendo. Definitely needs to be on the NES Mini 2 if, if they decide to make a sequel to the NES Mini, which they'd be silly not to. Um, I think it's going to be a huge hit. And it makes a cut. This this is a fun game. This is a, a fun racing game. I think that it often gets overlooked by other Nintendo franchises. It gets my pick. Rygar. Huge fan of the arcade version. And, you know, when I played the NES version, I even liked it even more. Now, some people uh, really like the arcade version. I think the NES version is better. And it's a good example of, of the strength of Nintendo. Um, while Nintendo had a lot of arcade classics at the start, this is a good example of a game that played really was was a lot different than the arcade version, and I actually thought it was a better game. It was more of an action RPG. You could level your character up. You had to you had to find different items. Um, there was you know an end boss, and uh, and uh, I just thought it was great. I really did think it was uh, better, and but some some people don't think that. Um, I'm a fan of the 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 game. I really think the strength of this game was the music. The music is absolutely fantastic. Um, still hum to this, uh, the tunes of, of this Nintendo game to this day. Um, gosh, you know, if there's going to be um, a NES Mini sequel, which there should, there should be. I think it's, I think it's going to be really popular. Uh, secondly, I know that Tecmo Bowl is actually on the NES Mini, and so which hopefully means that the rights of this game are are held by this uh, same company, and that they can include it. I, it is a classic, and I think it's up there with some of the best that uh, Nintendo had to offer. Um, huge, you know, I'm I'm kind of a huge side-scrolling action fan, and and Tecmo did some of the best games, you know. Um, they also have, oh, I, I, I keep forgetting, they had Ninja Gaiden um, all, is also on the NES Mini. So definitely this 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 game needs to to be on a sequel if, it, if, if they do make it. Please, Nintendo, please make this happen. Um, huge fan of this. Or, you know, another idea maybe is they could do is, is maybe have a boat. And then people can then choose which, which games they would want on a sequel. Um, that's always fun. I definitely want to hear from you know my fans what what games they would like to to see if if there was an S Mini two. There we go. We got Popeye. Popeye is an overlooked classic for Nintendo. Um, I am. This is a challenging arcade game, and I think it just gets overlooked because you know Donkey Kong was that good. I am a huge fan of this game. I am not that good at it. Um, you know, essentially, you are Popeye. You have to. Catch the uh, the hearts from olive oil, um, and then uh, you gotta avoid Bruno. And uh, simple premise: you can grab the spinach, um, which does make you more powerful. Oh man, died already! But um, a, a very simplistic, classic arcade game, very well done on 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 Nintendo. Oh man, I am doing terrible. <laughs> That's okay, it's a hard game. So, all right, let's see if I... All right, Bruno, you're in trouble now. I'm gonna get you. Yes. Had my spinach. Maybe not. Not that good at this game again. Um, again, you're, 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 each level is very challenging. You gotta collect the hearts um, from olive oil. And uh, it's a challenging game. You have to punch the, the bottles that Bruno throws out. Great classic uh, gameplay. It is hard. This is a hard game. If, if, you're a, if you do not like challenging games, then uh, this is one not for you. Uh, it is hard. Um, I, it took me a while to really appreciate this game. Oh, and the other thing too... You, the hearts that fall to the ground, 
you have to catch them. You have a certain amount of time, or you're you're breaking olive oil's heart up. And so, uh, oh, dang it. let's do this here. At least get past the first level. Oh! Ah. Did it! Yes! But I just want to say I'm a huge fan of ice hockey. In fact, I would say easily top three games on the system. Absolutely huge fan. Um, I think to me, uh, it, it captures such classic Nintendo gameplay. It is a blast to play still. Um, Brian, if you're out there watching this, man, I, I miss playing some ice hockey with you. Brian's my uh, longtime friend who I play uh, ice hockey with, and he usually beats me. So anyways, absolutely love this game. I'm really disappointed that this actually didn't make the uh, the cut or the Nest Mini. It definitely needs to be of of the games i'm showing today it must be on the sequel if they decide to do uh, a second series of games um this you have to you have to have ice hockey this hands down is um is my pick uh what i love about this game is so many classic things you can you can choose um how you have your your team you can do the 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 fat the medium or the skinny players and everybody's got their own way of doing it um i'm just gonna pick uh something um i usually have at least two medium uh one one heavy <coughs> and and definitely uh one fast in fact i'll do two two skinny so there you go but such a classic game i uh, absolutely love this game everything about it just is, is it realistic no what, what Nintendo did was essentially make a, a hockey game that plays a lot like an evolution of a Pong game. And, uh... Ah, oh, see. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not doing too good. Oh, yeah. Block. Yeah, get, get it. Yeah, get it. Anyways, this is a must-play. Uh, the other cool thing about this game is... is it's a two-player. It's a fantastic two-player game. And, uh, it, you know, you definitely want... This is couch multiplayer at its best. Um, such a such a, such a classic. Now, I know that there's Blades of, Blades of Steel fans out there. And uh, to me, no. It's got to be ice hockey. Uh, absolutely love ice hockey. Uh, again, top three Nintendo games of all time for me to play. I love it that much. Uh, this is by far... Uh, one of my favorite games I like to play. The other cool thing about this game, guys, folks, is it's cheap. It's not expensive. This is a game that you can pick up. It's not ridiculous. It's fun to play. Play it. I do believe it's it's actually... Oh, cool. We got to fight. 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 Oh, no. Oh. <coughs> I do not support fighting, but I do support fighting on ice hockey. So, yep, I'm out. One of my guys is out. Penalty box. All right. Let's see if I can still do this. But anyways, hands down, this is a, a timeless classic. I, I try to play this uh, as much as I can. I am beating Canada, which in real life would never happen. Um, but anyways, 2-1. Must own. Nintendo, please include this on the NES Mini 2. So there you have it. Those are the uh, classic games, the uh, classic Nintendo games that if Nintendo was to do a sequel to the NES Mini, what they should include on it. Um, comment below, what games would you like to uh, Nintendo to have on their console, if, uh, a NES Mini console sequel, if they decide to do it? Um, i like to thank uh, Retro USB making the AVS. Uh, it was a great system to use to capture the video footage for this. Um, which is a great alternative for people that actually want to play cartridges still. And uh, you can, I'll put a link below to uh, the site where you can purchase the uh, AVS console, which, is, uh, which I also did a review on my channel. Anyways, thank you so much for the support. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing these videos. This is the immortal John Hancock, signing out.